Hey y'all, what's up? It's Grace and welcome or welcome back to my channel. So for today's video, I am going to be sharing with y'all my October reading wrap up and November TBR. And I am so excited to share this with y'all because it has been a very good reading month and I also have an absolutely stacked TBR for this month. An all around great time. I think we should just hop into it. The first book that I read this month is On a Quiet Street by I think it's Serafina Nova Glass and this book was absolutely insane. I think I read it in two or three days flat. I could not put it down when I started to read it. This book follows the perspective of three different wives that live in this super rich neighborhood on the Oregon coast and and after reading the prologue I was really confused as to where the story was going when it jumped in because it seemed like the two didn't connect at all but of course as I kept going everything started to connect. This book was a little bit crazy for me. I never figured anything out. There were definitely a lot of plot twists but I would definitely look up the trigger warnings for this book because while it was very fascinating it also covered some very dark topics and there also was a touch of spice that I just kind of skipped over so you can just skip over that but I was not expecting that because this is not a romance book I would definitely recommend if you want something that is super fast-paced I initially gave this book four and a half stars but in reflection I could potentially give this five stars because I've thought about this book a lot and I've also already recommended this book to a couple of my friends so take with that what you will the next book I read was Harry Potter and the Goblet of Fire I'll put it here and that is the fourth book in the Harry Potter series so I've never read Harry Potter never watched Harry Potter before but in June or July I read Harry Potter and the Sorcerer's Stone and I have continued reading the series so I'll read the book and then afterwards I will watch the movie so Goblet of Fire is the first book in the series where the page count jumps it I think it's over 800 pages it was a lot but I audiobooked a good amount of it and then I read some of it and I want to say I finished it maybe four days that was definitely overkill it was my favorite Harry Potter book that I've read so far it was super interesting with the Goblet of Fire the Triwizard Cup the stakes felt higher everything felt a little bit more intense but then at the end if you've seen the movie or read the book you know like what happens and I was a little bit put off it made me really sad and then I just it just hurt it for me because I kind of started reading Harry Potter like for fun and think it was just gonna be like fun adventurous and then it actually got kind of bad maybe I'm being dramatic I don't know I gave it four and a half stars for that reason but I am reading Harry Potter and the Order of the Phoenix right now and it's pretty good so I'm keeping going. The next book I read I also don't have because I took a bunch of my books home but I read Little House in the Big Woods which is from the Little House on the Prairie series by Laura Ingalls Wilder and I feel a little silly saying I read this but I saw it in Barnes & Noble uh, probably a month ago and I bought it just because I read that series when I was little and I loved loved reading them. I loved learning about the 1800s and what life was like and it was just so sweet and wholesome and so I reread it. It's probably 200 pages but the text is huge. There are pictures and it's just a cozy read you know there was no real action or anything you were really just reading about Laura's day-to-day -day life but I loved it and I gave it five stars I also read four by Veronica Roth I've watched the three divergent movies but I had never read the books and I wanted to start with four just because his book starts before we see Triss before she ever enters the scene so it starts at his initiation into Dauntless and then it goes through a lot of different things with Triss as well. The only thing that I didn't love is this book is set up as a collection of stories so you'd read a story and then it jumps to just some other story and then it jump to another story and I kind of had wished that it was more fluid like I knew what I needed to know because of the movies 
but I I don't know. I just wish that it, it had been set up a little bit different maybe, but I did give it four stars. I thought it was really fun to read and it didn't take long at all. It was pretty short. The next book I read was A Good Girl's Guide to Murder by Holly Jackson and this book was amazing. I would give it probably 4.75 stars, maybe four and a half. Not a five star, I enjoyed the whole thing up until the end. I feel like the end didn't hit me hard enough. There wasn't a super big plot twist. I didn't feel like the stakes were super high and maybe that's because it's YA thing, but I would recommend it to anybody. And I definitely want to continue the series because I love Holly Jackson's writing style. I like how she has different files and logs that you get to read as you go through the book. And it was just super fast paced. Then I read Divergent by Veronica Roth. This is the super shiny one because I got it from the library at my school. This was pretty good. It was everything I I expected it to be pretty much. It was entertaining, but I didn't necessarily feel the need to fly through it. Maybe that's because I've already seen the movie. I'm not sure. Overall, I think I gave it four stars. I don't think I'm going to continue the series. I'm not sure but it was fun. I will also mention that I did DNF one book this month and that is Love and Other Words by Christina Lauren. And my favorite person on YouTube that makes book videos is Haley Pham. She absolutely loves this book and I love all of her recommendations, all the things that I've read that she's rated high, I've also rated high. So I thought this is gonna be amazing. And let me say, I do think that this could be amazing. And I plan on reading it in the future, trying again, but I will say that there is definitely grief involved in this book and it only takes a little bit to figure out what that is as you're starting the book. And I am currently in a time of grief in my life and so I did not find it wise to read this book right now because it was honestly just hitting a little too close to home at the moment. I am going through a different kind of grief but I'm just trying to stay away from reading that right now. But I definitely think this could be a great book. I love how it goes from present day to past, back and forth, and I think it's well written. I'll probably pick this up again in the future. Now we are gonna move on to my November TBR. I definitely have quite the stack. I'm feeling a bit ambitious because I will have Thanksgiving break. I'll have a little extra time to read, which I'm excited for. And my course load is a little bit lighter the second half of the semester. So I'm hoping to make a little bit more time for reading because I love it. The first thing on my November TBR, sort of, is Harry Potter and the Order of the Phoenix. It is a thick book. It's almost 900 pages and I'm almost to page 500 right now but I will be reading this book for probably at least another week therefore it'll be on my November reading wrap up so I'm also counting it as part of my November TBR to finish this. I am loving it. I am also hoping to finish it in enough time to read Harry Potter and the Half-Blood Prince. This is book six in the Harry Potter series so this is just what comes next. I'm not planning on rushing through these though because I definitely want to still have Harry Potter and the Deathly Hallows to read at Christmas time. I don't want to finish this series this month because I'm gonna be so sad. The next book that I am so hyped to read because I've heard so many people talking about it recently. I know it's older but a lot of people have been talking about it recently. Maybe it's like a fall book but that is Throne of Glass by Sarah J Mass. I've had this on my bookshelf for a while now. I want to read it because it's like such a nice like floppiness and it just is perfect like I just want to hold it and read it and it just sounds so interesting because I was a huge Hunger Games girly way back when and I think that this is enough in the same vein that I am going to absolutely love this and the great thing is is if I love this there are what seven eight other books for me to read in this series so I'm definitely looking forward to this. I told you guys I absolutely loved A Good Girl's Guide to Murder and so I picked up Good Girl Bad Blood by Holly Jackson. It's the second book in the trilogy. I look forward to reading this. I want to read it this month and then hopefully read the third book in December. And I can't wait to see what happens in this book because the first book is kind of its own complete story. At least to me it was. And so I'm excited to see what comes up in this book, what the main problem is that Pip is facing. And the last book that is on my November TBR 
for now is Daisy Darker by Alice Feeney. I have wanted to read one of Alice Feeney's books for a while. I know that she is a super well-known mystery thriller author and I love a good mystery thriller as long as it's not too gory because I cannot do like blood. But this book sounds so interesting and I've seen other books that kind of are in a similar trope if you will. But this one in particular sounds super interesting and I've heard I've heard a lot of people give very good reviews and so I definitely think this will be one of the first books I read this month because it's been sitting on my shelf for a month. That is everything. That is my October reading wrap up and my November TBR. I hope you enjoyed this video and you got some inspo for something that you are going to read in the near future. If you have any other book recommendations for me, leave them below and I will add them to my Goodreads because... I love good reads. And yeah, I hope that you have a great day and I will see you super soon with another video.